On this example, we're given a demand function and P is the price in dollars, N is the quantity in thousands. And we wanna know if adverse weather conditions are driving the price up by $4 per week, we wanna find the rate at which the demand quantity for this product is changing when the price is $178. So first let's collect the information that we know. We know that the price is changing. So we can say the price is changing with respect to time. It's gonna be $4 per week. The other number we're given is our price is $178. What we're looking for is how the demand, the quantity is changing. So that's gonna be DN DT. The number, the quantity is changing with respect to time. So to do this, what we wanna do is do partial derivatives. So we'll take the derivative of P, which is gonna be the derivative of P with respect to T. And you get a one with that. The derivative on the right-hand side constant is going to be zero. And then we'll use the power rule to bring the exponent down, multiply it by the 0 0.88. So we get 1.76 and to the first power as we reduce that exponent by one. But we took the derivative of n with respect to time. So dn dt. Now what we're looking for is that dn dt. But before we do that, we can plug in some of these values. We don't know what n is just yet at a price point of 178. So off to the side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in to our original function. We're gonna get a price point of 178 equals 530 minus 0 0.88 n squared. And we're gonna to have to solve this down for n. So first I'm gonna subtract the 530 from both sides, giving us negative 352 equals negative 0 0.88 into the second power. We'll make this into a power equation by dividing both sides by 0 0.88, negative 0 0.88. That'll get us the n squared on one side all by itself. Now I got 400 on the other side. We'll apply a square root to both sides. And this will give a positive 20 for our number of units. It wouldn't make sense in this context to have a negative uh, number of units. All right, so now let's plug in all the information that we've gathered. So we can put four in on the left-hand side equals negative 1.76 multiplied by the 20 that we just calculated, dn dt. And now we'll do a little bit of solving down for dn dt. So multiplying the negative 1.76 times 20 is negative 35.2 dn dt divide both sides by that 35, negative 35.2. That'll get dn dt on one side all by itself, which we're trying to solve for. And I got this to equal negative 0 0.1136 repeating. All right, so as you get going on these, identify all the information that you're given. I wrote that off to the right in red. Then do partial derivatives with respect to time um, we did that in yellow. And then if you have to find any other information, like in this case, we didn't know the quantity n, we plugged in the price point that we were given into the original function, worked that out in blue, plugged everything in, solved, uh, solved down for the dn dt. So that's how we do it. All right, good luck with them.